a prince is seen at the start of the film, who has built his palace in a marvelous way. He used to arrange the balls for the charming girls in his palace. A storm is broken out at night. An old lady directs herself to the castle of Prince in order to avoid the storm. She was not charming as being aged. Now that aged lady gifts a rose to Prince, honoring him. Prince thinks she is an aged lady and ugly with worse condition. So he makes fun of that lady. He laughs at her. And Prince threw the rose of that aged lady while humiliating her. The aged lady explains to Prince the physical beauty does not matter. It is rather found in the heart of a person. But Prince was not ready to value her words. At the first sight, that aged lady transformed into a charming girl. In fact, that old lady was a witch, who had come to Prince disguising an old lady. So she may check Prince, that which had understood that there are not the feelings of love in Prince's heart. So she transforms Prince into a beast after cursing. Prince begs that witch to not do as such, but she does not care. Everyone began to forget Prince because of witch's curse. Here it is revealed that, that given rose by the witch was not an ordinary flower, but it was an enchanted flower. The witch cursed him because of not accepting the rose by her. And this curse will be over. If Prince falls in love with someone before the fall of the last rose petal, and she also falls in love with Prince, if no one fell in love with Prince before the fall of last rose petal, then Prince will never be able to transform into a human being. He will rather be a beast forever. Many years are passed and no one visits that palace. Then a girl named Belle is shown at the nearby town of the castle. Belle was fond of book reading. Belle's father is a designer. There is also one more boy who lives in that town, whose name is Gaston. Gaston was desirous to marry Belle, but Belle was not ready to marry him, because he was an arrogant man. Gaston used to try his best to convince Belle for marriage, but his all struggles are left in vain. One day, Belle's father had to visit at some place. His passing way was a forest. Belle's father notices that his passing way is set on fire. He takes a turn, finding another direction there. Belle's father is on his horse. At once, he hears the howling of wolves from the forest. Then those wolves begin to chase him. Belle's father gallops to rescue himself. He comes near the castle while galloping. Belle's father finds no one going inside. Otherwise, it was being realized as someone lives in the castle. The meal was also set on the table while candles were also igniting. Belle's father begins to take meal, seeing it. But the most astonishing thing is appeared. The lying teacup there starts talking with Belle's father. Belle's father thinks as it is the ghost which is trying to frighten him. So Belle's father says to it, I am not afraid of you. Saying it, Belle's father runs away. Now the question arises here, how did this teacup speak out? The matter of fact is this, all household objects were the human beings in past, but they transformed into the objects because of that witch's curse. Belle's father runs to the garden. He observes the blossoming flowers there. Belle's father thinks that my daughter has asked me to bring flower for her. So he plucks a flower from there. Then the beast appears there. Beast imprisons him blaming to pluck the flower stealthily. But Belle's father horse gallops from there. And it directly comes to Belle at house. When Belle observes that horse is alone and her father did not return, she quickly understands that her father has caught in a trouble. So Belle rides that horse in order to search for her father. That horse brings Belle to the castle. And it was castle where Belle's father had been imprisoned. Going inside, Belle finds no one there. Belle also calls many times inside but gets no reply. Belle was hearing the sounds there but she was not having the sight of anyone. Belle reaches at that place where her father had been kept as captive. Belle's father tells her, the whole castle is alive. Run away as soon as possible, before he may have a look of you. I had plucked a flower for you and he imprisoned me here, punishing me. The beast approaches there before the departure of Belle. Belle is afflicted and frightened after seeing him. It is obvious that being a beast, he was looking horrible and menacing. But Belle does not let him feel as she is feeling fear from him. Belle says, I want to meet my father. The beast did not want her to meet her father. Belle says to beast, you are so cruel that you were giving a severe penalty on a little mistake. He has just plucked a flower and it was me who set him to do as such. So I will meet my father at any cost. Beast tells her that this door will never be unlocked if it opens once and locks again. Saying it, beast unlocks the door. Belle goes inside and meets her father. But she pushes her father outside. Afterwards, she locks the door. 
According to the beast, this door will never be unlocked again. So he cannot imprison Belle's father inside. Belle had become captive in place of her father. After this, Beast sets Belle's father free, taking him out. He lets him go. Now Belle is imprisoned there. But a table clock and candle holder move to Belle in the absence of Beast. These objects were human beings, but they have transformed into candle holder and table clock due to the curse. But they can act like humans as walk, talk, and hear. They unlock the door and ask Belle to accompany them. They say to Belle, we will provide you the separate room to live. Because they had understood as Belle may be the same girl who will free them from this curse. They provide a room to Belle for living. Beast becomes aggressive knowing about it. So he shows his anger to table clock and candle holder while scolding them. Both of them say on it, she is perhaps the same girl who will release us from this curse. Going near her, you should inspire her. And you should also love her. They suggest Beast to invite Belle for dinner going there. Hearing it, Beast has gone aggressive on them. He says to them, are you gone mad? That I may invite the daughter of a thief and dine with her. It can never happen. But he agrees when all objects insist him too much. Because Beast is the cause of their curse, not anything else. Beast goes to Belle. He says to Belle, you will dine with me. But never consider it a request. Belle says to him, are you mad? At first, you imprisoned my father, then you imprisoned me. Now you want to dine with me. Beast hits the door violently and says, you will dine with me at any cost. Belle says, I will prefer to die rather than to dine with you. Beast says, all right. I also fulfill this wish of yours. I will let you die from hunger. No one will serve you food now. You will die from hunger. Belle does not open the door and he leaves from there. Seeing the attitude of Belle, all cursed household objects. As candle holder, table clock, teacup, saucer, they all are confirmed that. Belle is the same girl who will release them from the curse. Then Beast is shown who moves to the place of that rose. Beast observes that many of the rose petals have fallen off. It was that rose which will keep Beast as an animal if its all petals are lost. And all cursed objects of castle will also remain the same. They will be turned into inanimate objects for forever. A few rose petals have left, and they will also soon fall off. Then Belle's father is shown who had come back to his town. He is telling everyone that my daughter's life is at risk. There is a castle nearby the forest where a beast dwells. And my daughter has entrapped there. But no one was ready to trust him. They were just taking it as a tale. But Gaston, who wanted to marry Belle, he says to Belle's father to impress him. I trust you. I will accompany you to rescue your daughter. Then Gaston, with one of his companions, go to the way of forest for Belle's father. The visited way of Belle's father is not found anywhere by them. Gaston is angered on this. He says to Belle's father, are you gone mad? No beast exists. Gaston also says to Belle's father that, I am in love with your daughter and I will marry her. Belle's father says on it, your wish can never be fulfilled. Gaston is got furious on Beast says to her, you cannot imagine what you were going to do. We all might be killed right now. Beast says to Belle furiously, go away. Belle leaves from there while weeping. Wolves surround Belle when she is crossing the forest, riding the horse. But Beast comes there before wolves may harm Belle. He confronts the wolves and hits them. Beast makes those wolves run away from there. But he is also wounded during this fight. Belle is nearly to leave, riding her horse. She notices that Beast has fallen on the ground. His condition has gone worse and he is also wounded. Belle comes back to him besides leaving because he had rescued her life. Belle says to him, I cannot lift you up so you will have to stand on your own support. Beast hardly stands up showing his courage. Belle brings him back to the castle riding the horse with him. Belle has again returned back to the same castle. All cursed objects of castle are excited seeing Belle. Because they wish the stay of Belle in this castle. Belle and Beast may fall in love with each other which may cause to remove the curse, leaving the things in the normal state. Those objects don't reveal the whole story to Belle, nor they reveal the remedy to get rid of this curse. But they just tell they will be left as it is when the last rose petal will be fallen off, 
and Beast will also remain as a beast forever. Bell dresses Beast's wound. Bell recites a verse when she is near Beast. Because Bell was fond of stories, poetry, and books, but Beast completes that verse of poetry. This fact leaves Bell astonished. Bell asks him, Are you also interested in poetry? He tells, I don't read the romantic poetry, but I have read a number of books. I have much knowledge about the poetry. But Bell tells, I love the romantic poetry and stories. Beast says, Your outlook reveals that you are inspired by the love like things. If you are fond of reading, then read good stuff. Then Beast leads Bell to his library. It was grand having a large collection of books. Bell is surprised to see those books and she also feels excitement. Because no book was available in the town to read for her. But she has got many books here. B says to her, you can stay with us if you want. This offer brings joy for Bell. With the passage of time, they began to spend much time with each other. They befriended. They come close to each other. They knew the liking or disliking of each other. They used to dine together. Then Beast also sings a song before Bell. Beast also shows a spell book to Bell. He tells, this book is given to me by a witch. And we can travel at any duration of lifetime. As we can travel in past or future. Bell wished to travel at that time when she met her mother for the last time. When Bell travels at that time, then she knows that her mother had been infected. So Bell's mother had asked her father that. You may leave from here forever, taking Bell. So my daughter may be prevented from this infection. Knowing it, Bell is grieved because Bell had knowledge about it. Then they return back to the current time. Candle Holder says to Beast, you should express your love to Bell. Beast says, she will never love me. But the Candle Holder tries its best to convince Beast. And all household objects convince Beast for it. First of all, they convince Beast and later they also make Bell ready for it. Bell loved to dance. So they both are going to dance. It is seen that Bell's father has come back to his town. They tell everyone that Gaston has left him bound in the forest. So the wolves may eat him arriving there. Agath is also with Bell's father. But Gaston does not accept this allegation and refuses to confess. He says he is telling a lie. He is possessed by a devil. And he has gone mad. He also says Agath's evidence is unimportant. Because she has already been banished. Here Gaston's partner also tells a lie. He tells that Gaston is speaking truth what he is saying. So all townsfolk trust in Gaston, and all begin to think that Bell's father has gone insane. He is possessed by a devil along with it. So they grab him. Then the castle place is seen where Beast and Bell were dancing, and they were feeling good and enjoying the dance. Beast tells Bell, I am feeling these affections. I have forgotten them. Bell tells, My father taught me how to dance. Beast asks her, Do you miss your father? Bell says, Yes. I miss my father very much. Beast has a magic mirror. They can see any person whom they want to see. He shows to her the image of Bell's father in the magic mirror. Bell witnesses that townsfolk have imprisoned his father, tying him up. Seeing it, Bell is got worried. Beast says on it, your father needs you. You should go to him. Beast also hands her over that magic mirror. He says, you may see my ugly face in this magic mirror if you ever miss me. Then Bell goes away to rescue her father. Now Beast is left alone in the castle. Beast was missing Bell because he had fallen in love with Bell. But she had gone away from him now. Their curse will remain same because Bell had gone away. And they will be like this. Thinking it, Beast and his companions get worried. Bell reaches her town. Bell observes that her father had been imprisoned by the townsfolk. Bell tells everyone that my father's told words were based on truth. There is a castle nearby the forest where a beast lives. The townsfolk were also not believing Bell. Then she shows the beast in that magic mirror. All are shocked, witnessing the beast in that mirror. Bell tells them he is not threatening and there is no need to be afraid from him. He is rather a kind-hearted. He does not desire to harm anyone. Nor he harms anyone. Gaston understands hearing her that Bell has fallen in love with Beast. So Gaston is envied. He tries to provoke everyone. That Beast has bewitched Bell, so she is talking like this. He suggests imprison Bell along with her father. After this, he provokes to the townsfolk that we should go to that castle together. And we should put that beast into death. Otherwise, he will kill us coming to our town. He will root it out our town. The townsfolk become the pawn of him. And all people of town head to the castle. When townsfolk enter the castle to end beast, then beast's partner's household objects attack the townsfolk. 
The people of town were unable to understand as what is happening this. Because they were inanimate things, not the humans. Then Gaston is seen who had approached to the beast. The beast is sad because he was not feeling good after the departure of Bell. He was missing Bell. Gaston says to Beast, what do you think that Bell is in love with you? But she has sent all townsfolk here to kill you. Saying it, he fires his gun on Beast. And Beast is nearly to fall down. But he holds a place of the balcony before falling down. But Bell arrives there before Gaston fires his gun again. Bell holds the hand of Gaston to stop him. Gaston is also fallen down during this fight. Gaston's gun is also dropped down by him. Beast tries to come upward. Then Belle calls him. She tells Beast, I exerted to stop townsfolk, but they did not stop. Beast restores his courage, looking at Belle. Now he wanted to confront Gaston. So he reaches Gaston and he holds his neck. He hangs him in the air. And Beast is going to throw Gaston from the high wall. Gaston begs Beast, don't throw me. Let me go, Beast. Beast tells him, I am not the Beast. Saying it, he spares his life. He says to him, go away. Gaston leaves from there. Beast comes to Bell. Getting a chance, Gaston fires his gun on Beast from backside. As a result, Beast falls down. But the standing place of Gaston is cracked. And Gaston also falls down. Gaston loses his life because of falling down from a height. Beast's condition is worsened because he was badly wounded. He was taking his last breaths. Bell tells Beast, I will never leave you again. But Beast says, my time has come to leave. Bell says to him, nothing bad will happen with you. Everything will be okay. And it is seen that the last rose petal is also fallen off. Beast is kept silent as that petal is fallen off. And Beast's partner's household objects are immediately left inanimate. Belle is grieved when she witnesses the dying beast. And her eyes are filled with tears. Here Belle expresses her love. She tells Beast, I have affectionate feelings for you. And she comes close to the beast. Then Agath also comes there who was banished. But the fact was different. That which was not other one but Agath. She knows that Beast is in love with someone. And that girl is also in love with Beast. It means that curse is over now. At first sight, Beast's surroundings are enlightened. Now the Beast is transformed into a charming prince. Belle is excited, witnessing it. They feel pleasure while looking each other. They embrace each other, coming close. And all cursed household objects had transformed into humans. It means that they had come into their actual form. All are very pleased. Belle and Prince are dancing among others in the castle. 